Hello and thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about lock lubrication. I'm going to try to lubricate this GG. It's a custom pinned lock that I just put together. It needs a little lubrication before I send it out. Uh, normally I use something in a blue spray can. I thought I'm not going to do this do that on this lock. I'm going to use graphite. That's not the lubrication I use very often. I don't have any large box or tube of graphite. But I searched the internet a little bit uh, and found out that I have a pretty cheap source of graphite in my whole, uh, home already. And that's inside a pencil. What makes the tip of a pencil is graphite. And if you split it in half, can remove a little piece of this graphite. Uh, the graphite within the pencil comes in different uh, mixture of graphite and clay. So you want a softer pencil, that one that makes um, darker and wider markings on the paper, not the light and thin one. The, thinner and lighter the markings on the paper is, the more clay it, the graphite contains. So as I said, you want a soft pencil. I tried to get a hold of my wife's mortar, the mortar for grinding crushing herbs, but she nearly chopped my head off when she noticed. Uh, so I'm just going to use a piece of um, sandpaper for this demonstration. Uh, the way I do it is just grinding or in this case sanding off some graphite powder. It's not much needed so I think we're good there. Gonna fold it. and get it into the lock and give it a little blow and this was a custom pin lock so I'm just gonna wiggle it a little bit outside, outside of focus and now it feels pretty smooth So that's a cheap and easy way to get a hold of some graphite, especially if you don't want to buy a large tube or box of graphite if you're just gonna lubricate a couple of blocks as a hobbyist. Yeah, if you have any comments on using this source of graphite, let me know. And thanks for watching.